Zachary Sewell from Alabama 7th District. Hello everyone. Are you all energized? I am. I want to thank you so much for coming out to fight for the most, I think, fundamental constitutional right, and that is the right to vote. You know, the right to vote has always been under threat. As the representative from the Alabama 7th Congressional District, I can tell you, and my district includes Birmingham and Selma, my hometown, and Montgomery, and this is where the foot soldiers really marched and fought and bled for civil rights, but for voting rights as well. And there have always been roadblocks, always been roadblocks. Just think of uh, our, my colleague John Lewis, what he had to face back when he was actually a young man. It's so interesting to me. People think that you have to be old to be a leader. No, 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 no. Leaders of the civil rights and voting rights movement were young people in college, like so many of you out here. The power lies in our collective working together, right? Working together, ordinary Americans, that's what we learned in the civil rights and voting rights movement. We learned that ordinary Americans collectively working together in a nonviolent way, doing what we can do, which is protest on the steps of the Supreme Court of the United States, um, can make a difference. We can make a difference. It's called collectively, we are stronger together than we are apart. And I just want you to know that the right to vote is worth fighting for. I know you know this. And the roadblocks that we have seen, we should be energized by the freedom fighters and all of those foot soldiers, for they never gave up. They never gave in. And every generation has to fight for that right to vote, that critical right to vote. And so I'm here to be in solidarity with all of you, to make sure that you know that that, that right to vote is worth fighting for each and every day. You know, it was here in the Supreme Court in 2013 that they gutted the Voting Rights Act of 1965. And we, are, we have been systematically trying to fight to restore the Voting Rights Act. But today's case in Ohio, purging of voter rolls is yet another way of voter suppression. It's unacceptable. It's unacceptable. We have to make sure that we are fighting for everyone's constitutional right to vote. Because if there's one voter who has a right to vote and doesn't vote, it threatens our democracy as a whole, does it not? So we have to stand up and speak out. What do we want? The vote. What do we want? The vote. When do we want it? Now! What do we want? The vote! When do we want it? Now! Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Keep up the fight.